Hello and welcome to All About That Place. We're going to be diving into the challenge workbook today, um, helping you to with some examples on how to fill out the tasks um, and really showcasing the workbook. I'm actually using the draft at the moment because um, we're pre-recording this. So if you do see a few changes, don't panic. It's just where things got tidied up as we uh, did the final edit. Um, so let me share my screen. Um, we will dive straight into uh, the day one tasks. <clears throat> so perhaps not surprisingly, the very first task is to pick a place to investigate, whether this is um, a place that you're going to do a one place study on or a place that you just want to investigate um, for a bit of local history. You might want to think about some of the advantages and disadvantages of the place options that you have. I know I have ancestors from lots and lots of different places and I live in a very historic village that I have no ancestral links to um, that I find quite interesting as well and there are definitely advantages and disadvantages to uh, to wherever you pick and it's worth going through them before you decide so um, Liz as somebody who has a one place study here what, what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of different places? I've got three one place studies. Oh my gosh, um, <laughs> I'm that addicted. <laughs> um, I think the the most important thing, most important than anything else, is that it's a place that you have a passion for, somewhere that you've got a real curiosity about finding out what life was like in the past. Uh, so I have a, a one place study of a village, um, and there I'm primarily interested in finding out what life was like for my ancestors there. I have a one one street study of my own street where I live. I don't have any ancestors even in this county, but I'd absolutely love to know what life was like in my street. And I'm also studying an institution, Temple Lodge Home for Inebriate Women, where I found one of my ancestors in the 1901 census. And I was really keen to find out what her experiences of being in such an institution were. So I think it's having a curiosity and feeling a passion, I think, is the most important thing. Okay, great. Um, and presumably, depending on the size of a one place study or a place or your your proximity to that place, that can have different advantages and disadvantages. I was just thinking, I've always wanted to do a one place study on the whole of Notting Hill, um, but the sheer size and volume of that has, has put me off as a disadvantage. But perhaps one of the ways of breaking that down would be to pick a particular road. And the advantage of that would be that it would narrow down that that focus to make it more manageable. Joe, I know you've got one place study as well. Can you think of any, just a high level example of an advantage or a disadvantage just to get people's brains working when they fill out this task? Yeah, I, so my one place study, I had to be quite careful about the scope because my one place study is um, a village, um, but do you decide, um, you know, do you look at the parish? Do you look at the village? Do you look at the wider area? Even in that, do you focus right down in? And I think you've got to think about um, what you can manage um, in your time, as you mentioned, um, but also sort of what sources are available and what questions um, you want to ask as well. So I think you've got to think about what, what do you want out of um, doing the one place study, because that will sort of direct where you're, um, where you, how you focus down onto it. Um, so for me, a one place study, is, there's a big advantage in that you can sort of, um, your place can be whatever you want it to be, essentially. You know, and there are people that do one place studies of, um, you know, ships, war memorials, institutions, streets, um, villages. Um, so, so however you feel you can um, tackle it. Great. Thank you. That might lead quite nicely into the next task, which, again, like all of these tasks, they're optional for some people. This will be really relevant for some people that they'll already have this in their mind. But the next task is about picking a focus. Um, I know, Liz, you were saying that your one of your one place studies started by focusing on war memorials. Um, uh, I have heard people, a, a cemetery being a focus, being quite a popular uh, focal point. And I've also heard about people focusing on a particular building, like a, like a public house, um, as the starting kind of kernel for their um, one place study. And again, these will have advantages and disadvantages, and it's probably worth considering a few different focus points to make sure that you hit the right one for you. I um, hope that's helped you fill out your tasks for day one. Um, you can skip ahead to the next video to view the tasks for day two. Ruth, have you stopped recording? <laughs>